Here I would like to demonstrate um, the outcome of two different types of edges. Um, here is my swatch that I already started and um, this, um, this, this type of the edge is where you uh, always knit the last stitch. So I knitted last stitch, I turn it around and I knit it again. Okay. Let me show you one more time. When I get to the end of the row, I knit the last stitch. Okay, and then when I turn it around, I knit it again. I knit the first stitch again. And then there is another way of doing the edge uh, that is to slip last stitch. So you knit to the last stitch and then what you do is instead of knitting it you move this yarn to the front and you slip the stitch from left needle to the right needle, you turn it around and only then you knit it. Let's go and I will let me go and show you again. So you you uh, knit this stitch but you do not knit last stitch move the yarn forward, move the stitch from the left needle to the right needle, do not knit it, and knit it in the second row, in the next row. I'm going to go and do a few more rows of this particular edge where you slip the last stitch. So now we can go and look at how the outcome of each style of the edge looks like. So this edge is the one where you knit every single edge, uh, every single um, uh, stitch, and this edge is where you slip the edge. Okay. And in my opinion, I personally like this one. That's why in all my patterns you can go and read slip last stitch.